I think the first thing I'd say is to be a successful entrepreneur is you need to embrace failure because every business and every entrepreneur at some point or other is going to experience that fear of failure and therefore I think my first advice would be embrace it because failure is part of the journey of success. I think secondly one of the biggest lessons that I've learned is to be a successful entrepreneur sometimes you have to observe the masses and do the opposite. One of the things that I've incorporated in, in my journey is always to surround myself with great people because business is all about people not products and services and therefore the better the people around you the more chance you have of being successful. I think one of the things that I've consistently found that keeps coming up time and time again is how do I raise capital to start my business. So the first thing I would say is there are a lot of opportunities for funding available. So the first thing that comes to my mind is startup loans. So here's a government initiative that provides capital for small businesses that's unsecured. So that's a very attractive form of funding. The other area which is becoming so popular now is crowdfunding. So actually where you can go online, put your business online and actually raise capital through the general public. There are lots of angel networks that you can go to, there are banks you can go to. So the first advice I would say is if you're looking to raise capital, there is more than one avenue available and therefore explore all of them. But finally, just make sure that before you make that decision, you do your homework. One of the big opportunities which exist for businesses today is the use of technology. When I was starting a business, the whole kind of landscape of marketing and media was so different. Today, with the use of technology like Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, I think it's revolutionized the way small businesses can operate. I would highly recommend that every entrepreneur needs to look at how can I use that technology to market my business. In my particular business, LinkedIn has become one of the biggest phenomenal successes in the world of recruitment. And because I've been so proactive and I've recognised the value and the importance of that, I've been writing a blog for the last year. Um, so I've been proactive. It didn't just happen, but I understood it, I accepted it, I embraced it. And today I have over two and a half million people who follow me regularly. For me, they're two and a half million potential customers. So I think to every entrepreneur and every business out there, my strong advice would be recognise its value, utilise it, because it can literally transform your business. Um, well, I have one in particular that I think is a great little business. Um, it's called Easy Dry Clean. Um, they, I text them, they come to the house, they pick up my cleaning, they drop it off, they bill me once a month. I think just in terms of small businesses, it's a little niche business. It's fantastic service. You know, for me, it just makes life so easy. You know, they're, they're, they do the job brilliantly well. And the one thing I love about what they do is when they drop it off to me, they actually hang it in my cupboard. So I think it's perfect. I think the one thing I've learned in business over the last 30 years is businesses are built on people because I think when you find the right person that is what creates businesses. Sometimes I think we get overly obsessed with products and services because somehow we think that a product or service takes off by itself. It doesn't. It's people who enable businesses to succeed and therefore if I was starting a business today I'd be looking to find the right individual who has that passion, that drive, that conviction, that belief to make the business successful. I think the advice I'd give him is it's bloody difficult. It's really hard. If anything can go wrong, it always does go wrong. It is not a walk in the park. It's 24-7. Um, you've got to make amazing sacrifices to be successful. And what I would say is trust your instincts. Recognise that success is a journey. You know, it isn't a destination that it will be very difficult. The key thing to do is to remember that you need to surround yourself with good people because business is not about one individual. 
you know, it's about a collective, it's about a team. The better the people around you, the more chance you have of being successful. The advice I'd love to give members of the public is please support this campaign. Please support your local business. There cannot be a better time like now to recognise that your small business in your area is part of your community. It breaks my heart when I go up and down the country and see closed retail shops in high streets. Because when I was growing up, the high street was where, you know, we made friends, we socialised, it was heart of the community. And I don't want to see that happening up and down the country. So to everybody out there, please support your local business because it's key to, to the success of our community. To business owners, you need to promote this campaign to the best you can. You know, use referrals, talk to your friends, put something in the window, use social media, use Instagram, go on Facebook, do everything you can to make sure that everybody knows the importance of what we're trying to do with this campaign. I think something like this as a campaign, I don't think it's important. I think it's crucial. Over 90% of them are small businesses. So it's so important that we as a community need to recognise the value and the importance of this sector. Most small businesses in this country today are the lifeline of job creation. Most jobs that are created in this country are created through small businesses. And therefore, recognising the impact and value is absolutely essential. Certainly for somebody like me, recognising the importance of those businesses because small businesses are the heart of every community in this country. They're the fabric of our society and therefore not giving this importance I think would be almost a shame, you know, as a nation.